Hello and welcome to Utheme Pro. In this video, we'll have a look at the layout settings in the website builder. The layout settings can be found in the first section of the website builder. Here you can change global layout settings, which apply to all pages on your website. The available sections are split in several subcategories. For example, the first one are site settings, which mainly focus around logo settings. For example, we can change the logo text to say something different. Um, the live preview updates, but you see that um, the text is not visible. This is because we have a logo image set, but if I remove that image, it will display the text instead. We can also pick a different logo from our uploaded files. And there we go, that's the new logo. We have two additional but optional settings. For example, the inverse logo setting is a version of the logo used on dark backgrounds. So for example, we have a black logo for the default and then a white logo for the inverse option. I'll just pick the prepared inverted file. And also there's a mobile logo setting available. For this, I also have another logo prepared. To see if that worked, let's preview the mobile view with the little helper buttons at the bottom. And there's our new logo, perfect. In the next subsections of the layout settings, we have header settings. For example, we can pick a new layout for the header. There are several header layouts available. Let's go for this one. And we see that our header updates to the new layout. As you can already see in the icon, there are um, other options available. For example, we can display a search. For that, I scroll down and we set the search to be displayed inside the header. And we can set the style of the search to be a default search box or a modal so that when I click on the search icon, a modal appears to um, yeah, insert the search query. And also here you can find options for social buttons. I'll set them to be displayed in the uh, header position as well. And when I click on edit links, um, you see that I've already inserted two links before. Um, and here you see that the icons are available and linking to the URLs that I inserted. You can also choose to display the links um, in the navbar directly. So they will jump here, down here in the navbar. There they are. Or we can choose to display them in the toolbar. The toolbar is another bar that is displayed above the header. Um, but I actually prefer it in the header, so we'll keep them there. All right, and let's go back. The mobile options are um, configuring what the header looks like on smaller viewports. So um, the breakpoint defines when this default header is replaced by the mobile header. And then we have several other options available. And remember that we can always have a look at that when setting a smaller viewport here. So we can, for example, choose to display the logo on the left and then have the menu toggle on the right. And if we prefer, we can also set this to display the text menu. It's all up to you. And yeah, there are other options available. Let's go to the next section. Actually, top, sidebar, and bottom are three settings available for module positions that are defined by this theme. First, let's go back to the full-sized view. Now, module positions are used to display content across multiple pages. For example, the bottom position is displayed at the bottom below the page content. I have prepared this to display a login form inside the bottom position. And here in these layout, settings, we can define 
what this section should look like. For example, we can set the style to be secondary. Secondary is defined by the style and in this case it means that the background is dark. But then our module kind of fades away except for these fields so we can also set the text color to be a light text color. And then we can read it again. I want to show you one cool option here. If you pick the style image, you can actually pick an image from your uploaded files. And we have more settings available for this image style. And quite a cool thing is the overlay color that you can pick here. You can pick a dark color and make sure that it has some alpha value so it's not completely covering the background image. And when this updates, we have quite a nice look with an image, uh, but also readable text. Let's go back. Um, the same settings apply to the top position, which is just the same position above the page content. The sidebar has some other options available and it's actually not displayed on this page. When you build page layouts, these are usually meant to spread across the whole width of your content, like you see here with this big image. So that's why the sidebar is not displayed on these articles here, but instead it's displayed only on other pages from the CMS, for example, the blog page. So if you publish modules in the sidebar position, you can then here set uh, some settings to define what the sidebar should look like on those pages. And lastly, the footer section offers something even more flexible. So what you see here is actually the same tool that you will use when building complete page layouts. We'll talk about this in more detail in the builder video. But here you can already see that we have an image, a sub-navigation and some social icons in the footer and you see this down here in the live preview. And this concludes our view at the layout settings of Uthim Pro. We have a look at all subsections and explained how to work with them. You've seen that there are many more settings available that you can use to customize your website. Just use the live preview to see what happens. And when you like what you've built, remember to click save. Thanks for watching.